Greetings, everyone. <laughs> Bryant, Corey, and Chris back with more Cocker's Bad Fur Day. It just, it just makes him laugh. <laughs> it's just the face Bryant made after I said that. Hey, of, you guys. Bunch of an asshole. Whoa. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Hey, you over there. Huh? Yeah, you. Apparently, there's something real neat inside this barn. Uh, I can't quite see it myself. Unless, of course, some guy's jumping around stinking a horse poo's real neat. Which, uh, of course, it isn't. <laughs> <sighs> this is pretty neat. Ruh, ruh, raggy. Hey, Frankie! I think there's a little fellow over there. He's just coming in through the door. I think it's your turn to kick his... Is it your turn? Is it his turn? Yeah, yeah, I say it was his turn. Yeah, Frankie, go and kick his ass. Go on, go on, kick his ass. I ain't kicking it, but it's, time, it's always my turn to kick my asses. Frank, just go over there and kick his ass, Frankie, for sake. Yeah, you don't kick his ass. Somebody's kick his ass. ain't gonna be me. I'm a, I'm a brush. Yeah, you don't kick ass. Well, I'm a paint pot anyway. I'm a f paint pot. Go and kick his ass. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll kick his ass. I'm not going over there. He can come over here. Okay, okay, hey. Here comes Craig. Just keep still, keep still. this <laughs> game. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, man, dude. What the so damn hard. diddly squat are you doing in my barn? Well, I never. It's a talking pitchfork. Not for round here, are you, boy? No. I'm from the 21st century. <laughs> the recollect black in your type. Therefore, I conclude that I was gonna kick your butt. You seen money about? Barn like the <laughs> snow tomorrow. I was gonna stick my big fork right in his. Were your parents related? Like before they were married? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so when was when was uh, Conkers made? Uh, 2000, wasn't it? Uh, 1999 or 2000. What a feisty you are here! I like that! Come here! <laughs> I love that running. <laughs> Look at a feisty you are here! I like that! I got you now, boy! Oh, the level crunk! I'm playing hard to get! Not yet. Oh, oh boy. Ow. Now he attacks, you fucker. Come on. <laughs> right here, right here. <laughs> you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Here. What are you doing in my barn? <laughs> As Shrek said, <laughs> stay out of my barn. <laughs> I love how their eyeballs just like. Oh, oh away. damn it! Come on. <laughs> Oof. Oh god, they splatted on the wall. You are here. Oh. Oh, splattered on the wall. Oh, oh, come on. That little one's gonna be a bitch, isn't it? Yeah, that's why I'm trying to focus on him. There we there, go. Nice. Real nice. Oh, it seems like you're giving quite the stab oh, at it. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, look what you've done! It's not my fault, you're terrible. It is 110%. Fork over his entrails. Mm. Oh. There it is. Nice. Or fork over the controller, am I right? <laughs> oh. I've seen some kicking ass in my time, and that is the shittest, crappiest, crappiest, shittest kick ass I've ever seen. <laughs> I just kick as kicking ass goes. It was abysmal, and you is a sh bastard, stupid bastard. <laughs> you stupid bastard. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? Kill yourself? Cause that's what I recommend. Jesus. Oh my God. We got a rope right here, and we got a rope. Yeah, we got a rope. Jesus. Whoa. I just, I, oh, in that case, I is gonna kill myself. I'm gonna kill myself right now. That's all there is to it. You. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, it gets better. <laughs> oh my god. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid bastard. <laughs> <laughs> this one got a net. Yeah, look 
at you up there hanging there, you stupid bastard. He ain't got a neck, are you? He ain't got a neck, has he? I already said that. Shut up. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't appear to have a neck of any description. <laughs> I ain't got an esophagus. Oh, diddle die damn. I damn. For some time. What clever writing. This is truly a game beyond its years. <laughs> there he goes. Bye. But, uh. So, you guys have already got a few episodes in. Okay. How's, how's it been? So far, it's been pretty good, other than Bryant, you know, being Shut up. in a pit for, you know, an episode and a half. That sounds about right. <laughs> but, uh... Alright, nope. no, no. right, now we gotta do B because I leave, and then the big boss comes. There you go. So, uh, this morning, I was watching the live-action adaptation of Death Note. Oh, God. I've heard it's terrible bad. things. Uh, I, okay, first off, I'm about, I'm about 35, 40 minutes into it. I get a chance to watch all of it. But have not say that. Nemesis. Oop, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be quiet. Yes, it's me again. Right. Time to wander around aimlessly. <laughs> okay. So, uh, about 40 minutes into it, I just want to start off first, and I'm going to be cut off again. God damn it. Don't ignore me. Oh, they always ignore me. Hey! Uh, oh, what do you want? Do you know, in my own country, I'm a king! Oh, really? Yeah. That bitch threw me out. Apparently the hive keeps getting stolen. Well, I don't care. I couldn't fit in the f thing anyway. You see how fat she is. <laughs> <laughs> Bum. Uh, well, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I gotta go now. Uh, you're like the rest of them. I ain't gonna tell you about the big-breasted babe then. Uh, the, the big what? <laughs> You've piqued my interest. Color me intrigued. The wife kicked me out. Oh, He's like, you're just like the breast. Oh, she's got stigmas like you wouldn't believe. Oh, it's that flower. She had big... Yeah, over there, behind us. Hang on a second. Breast. She's a sunflower. Yeah, what did you expect her to be? She's a sunflower with big breasts. I'm a bee. <laughs> Stupid bastard. You gotta help me out, buddy. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, hmm. What's in it for me? Cash? That'll do. I thought you were begging. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah. Damn, he sussed me. <laughs> <coughs> I sussed him. So, casting? Eh? I can I can understand everyone being so upset about like the whole whitewashing thing of like yeah. animes and you know that kind of stuff. Keep just keep talking. Yeah. You're good. As long as she's got huge knockers. <laughs> she does. Yeah. Some of the Quite sure. Stigma. But um. So I I I don't like that casting because you know when you watch an anime. You know, you build this certain persona yeah. around them, and then it just, it's conflicting to watch because, you know, in Death Note, you know, Light's really smart, really popular, Very god cunning, co cunning god, god complex kind of thing, you know, and it's him feeling that he's justifying his actions by changing the world. And in this one, Light is like a whiny little bitch. And they turned it into a love story is what I was told. He, they did. Like, yeah. immediately, uh, you know, it's supposed to be Misa. It's not Misa. It's Mia. You're like, oh, okay. And she's just like, the more you kill, the bigger I want to fuck you. That's that's literally what it is. It's just like, oh yeah, you kill that dictator. Ooh yeah, you kill those murderers. Oh, I want you so. Bad. And it's like, it's it actually pulls it away a little from what he's doing. Um, it takes kind of that psychological thriller like element. I I, and it has nothing to do with, uh, him not being Japanese or whatever. 
it's it's like his mannerisms he's trying so hard to be it yeah. um but i'll just put this here willem dafoe as fucking oh Ryu, he's it that, he, is oh, phenomenal fuck. i was like you gotta be shitting me it was it was so i could literally just watch yeah a william, spin-off movie about ryu with yeah. william defoe as the voice yeah william defoe as ryu was perfect casting you see and when i heard that i was actually excited about it but then i saw like the rest of the casting eh, underwhelming very what? underwhelming to say the least and not only that they take light yagami and turn him into light turner who is a completely different like you like you said yeah a completely different person. He's like an outcast. Oh, no, no, no. He's like an outcast and you know, he, he they, they want to show that he's smart because he takes other people's homework and quizzes and does them for him to make cash. And you're like, wow, yeah, you're really uh, you're really smart there. But, oh my god, it's, it's, it, if anything, it's not Death Note. It's like a complete separate universe that has Death Note in it, and the dude just happens to have a name Light and similar components it's to it. It's pretty much just an alternate universe. Yeah, and um, it's, it pulls it away so much. And, that really and as far me. as um, Light and Mia, yeah. or Misa in the anime, this is a pussy whip bitch. That's it. Um, so, when... Misa was around in the anime. They worked together. Yes. They were a team. Yeah, because she had a Death Note she, and a Shinigami. She, yeah, and they worked together, and they did, and they did, the work together. And you know, I don't know. I haven't seen the live action yet. I, I'm only going off what I've heard from other people. It just came point. out too here in the time of right. recording. Um, and uh, I don't know if I honestly. Really I would. Like I would it. say I want you to watch it. Especially if you watch Death Note and you are, I would say, a fan. If yes. you're like, yes, if I you am. are absolutely enthralled with the show, I you was. take it with a take it with a grain of salt. Because I really, really liked Death Note right here, but I was just curious to see a bigger budget live action what they could do with it, and it's pretty much what I thought they were going to do with it. They'll take uh, some components. Watch to, the actual Japanese the Japanese I one. Had, yeah. I want to watch it. I mean, uh, I've watched both. That's that was good. I actually do because I. In, in so watching it and reading about it, everyone says that one's definitely the better version of it. So I think I'm gonna definitely do that. But I did say that, see they're gonna do a live action of Tokyo Ghoul. It's for Netflix. What am I doing wrong? But, but it sucks. It's, it's gonna be in Japanese, okay. based in Japan, not Americanized, based on the preview I saw. See here, here's where I'll defend the box? us. Like. You have to do something with that box. It's just got a fucking name. Maybe you gotta dress up as a pretty lady. Move, you fat shit. <laughs> your wife ain't too fat. God damn. Have you seen yourself? <laughs> He's like, <laughs> did you see her? She's like 35 pounds. So oh, fat. god damn it. Hold on. But, um, what were we saying? Um, but to the live action for Tokyo Ghoul, which is being done by Netflix, looks really good. Really Maybe you have to hit her and then jump on her back? Hey, what about me? Somebody get me! <laughs> Look at she's mocking you. Oh, she's getting tickled, so she's got a... we confirm that the B is French, and now that's a French tickler? Oh, uh, we cannot. Okay. Um, we should fact check that. <laughs> but I, I, I get it. I see the appeal, especially as a, uh, uh, a place like Netflix, that this is a good way to, like, test, test a lot of things and get a lot of, uh, you know, see what does well. I mean... You would never have it, obviously, in a theater because there's just no way. No. You, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be, reach the mass market. Right. But Netflix kind of really changed up the thing to where someone had this idea and they go, you know what? Rather than putting it out in a movie and spending hundreds of millions of dollars, you know, well, I wouldn't say hundred, but you know, tens of millions of dollars to make it happen, they can now experiment with stuff like this. So I think it's cool. But having the same thing, I get it that they want to be creative and make it more appealing to a Western market. The thing is. 
I don't think this show is going to really appeal to someone that's never seen Death Note. You know? Like, yeah. this Western version, someone goes, I've never heard of Death Note. I'm going to watch this on Netflix. But you've got the anime on Netflix, too, so... Yeah, I mean, I typed in on Netflix, Death Note, and the first thing to pop up is the anime. So, I don't know why I think that... Yeah, I don't know. The premise was all right. It's just execution. From what I've been told, they went too far with the love story. Yeah. Because it's it, because in the it, anime, he does not love uh, Misa at that's all. That's right. That's... There you go. You gotta tickle her more. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, oh. But yeah, like in the anime, he doesn't love Misa. He just sees her Mi as a tool. Yeah, Misa is in love plus, with him. Plus the others that... Plus there were others that he... Uh, used to and I, th I think you left him behind no, oh no, no here we go there we go tickler harder <laughs> means there's some more you need to get stop laughing and show me your titties god jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> show me your genitals your genitals what show me your genitals but um anywho because there's a lot of crude it, jokes aside yeah but there's a lot of good animes that just for some reason when you I don't even think it's the live action part of it I think it's when you westernize it is where it gets lost in translation because you're not gonna understand like Shinigami you know Death Gods that, that one of the things I, I was reading was the culture and, and Japanese lore about Death Gods and like spirits and demons is very different from a western version of demons yeah you know, spirits, I guess, in the more Western world is more, you know, God and devil and angels heaven versus and heaven and hell kind of thing. But, like, in a uh, more, there, there. E there you go. more Eastern culture, it is, you know, it's it's normal to have spirits because you have family spirits and, you know, ancestors and all this other stuff. Dude, you just took, like, the I did not of your mean life. to do that. Aim for the bushes. I could be a hero, baby. Anybody seen the other guys? Yes. Um. Okay. Where are the rest of your little shit at? Yeah. Come on. You got a sunflower to bother. Oh, bother it. Oh, yes. Come on. What the fuck, man? Oh, man. Ooh. I'm gonna dance on your grave. But, uh, there you go. You're still not following you. Oh, you have to start over. Uh, of course I do! Yeah. That's how this game works. So I have to talk Welcome to him. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the early 2000s, bud. Oh, so... Maybe? You gotta hit him. Um, that's what was happening when I was playing um, the Zodiac Age Final Fantasy. Uh, I got really far and then died in a, just a real BS way. And so I was like, I've got to do all that over again. But here you find out, when you enter certain sections, it'll autosave. And I was like, thank God for the future. <laughs> I was like, I could I could have seriously had wasted an hour of my life <laughs> trying to do this, bullshit again. doing that bullshit again. Why won't they follow you now? Because I got fucking talked to and what are you waiting for? Come on, I bet it then. Ah, you bloody wanker. I just talked to... Uh... Hey, what are you going to do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... But no, I'm actually, like, a really big fan of that anime. Like, I, I loved Death Note. I'm, I'm going to watch more. I... I just love going on threads and people putting in like psychological uh, anime thrill, you know, psychological thrillers that are anime. Um, yeah. Hey. Uh, Paranoia Agent was really good. Uh, I saw that. So since we're on the subject of live action, yeah. Ghost in the Shell. I didn't see it. I didn't get to see it. And I don't really want to see it. That I, I think that's the big, the bigger point is that I think it's been out long enough to where people can finally just. Put everything. Oh, there you go. Put everything aside and go. Is is it worth watching? And it seems like everyone who's seen it did not think so. Did not think so. And I. Mine was 
it was good, but there are things that they kind of took their directive stance, like, oh, let's change this up. And it was the things they should not change. Or, like, they have to, they should have gone into more detail. Like, why Major can't go into water. And if she does, why it's risky. Like, there's an entire scene in the movie where she's diving in the water. And they don't even touch on the fact that it's like, you know, when you do that, you're mostly metallic and you could drown and not get back up. And there's, they, they touch on her history of, well your whole sentience is based off this girl that was murdered in her apartment and then yeah. it's like she meets her technical mother and right. it's like but they don't go into it it, but it you know, had moments it was like they're they did a like it's like sky pilgrim vs. world they had moments where they really just took right out of the anime but you gotta also think too as much as death note as compared to ghost in the shell you're taking 60 70 80 episodes hours tens of hours and you're trying to cram it in 90 minutes. Yeah. And you're not going to be able to... You're just not going to be able to do it. So, I mean, I, I get that, but... Like, if you want to create a series, a live-action series, and try and cover all of that information, well, and, that's and, one thing. And that's where I think, like, Netflix opens the door to all those possibilities. You know? Defenders. It, that... Defenders, yeah, that's a great example. Why? Why, God? Why? Anyway. Um, no, like, I, I love Defenders. That was really good. It was a good adaptation. We you, you went mother. the other way. You went the wrong way. I know. <sighs> this is just basically watching you fail. Yeah, isn't it fun? Fuck off. What time are we at? Uh, twenty-one forty-nine. So hurry up and get these last bees. And, but yeah, it, it's... if you finish it, it would be the bees' knees. Oh! Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> You're just so proud of yourself. Right now, <laughs> Always. Aren't you? Why does that ever change? <laughs> <laughs> I love just, I love terrible puns. They just make me laugh so much. Why well, I do them. <laughs> anyway. make, give me come a on, you guys. Honey, come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God what damn the it. fuck are you climbing up? And why is it basically a beanstalk? I gotcha. No, don't. Did you hear how excited they were? They were. Like, oh, oh, my God. oh! Okay. Aim for the bushes. That's an annoying noise. It's like it's like the B movie all over again. I heard that was like It was meant to serve a lesson, instead everyone just mocked the shit. Yep. Including me. Is it is it is it because of the bestiality with wanting to have sex with a bee? That and <laughs> Jerry Springer as a bee. Seinfeld. Or It'd be way Jerry cool Seinfeld. <laughs> that would be great. That would be pretty cool. Sorry, I <gasps> I see a booby. There's more. There's more. Oh dear running. god. Uh, <laughs> fucking course. All right, so we'll continue this in the next episode, everyone. Bye. Bye.